Right, hello again YouTube! Welcome back to some more From the Depths. Now today, we're continuing on with the Cypher campaign and we're going to be building something new. So this is the Ubari, it's one of the uh, craft we'll be up against the campaign. And I've loaded this up because this is the sort of thing I'm looking to build today. Uh, because we, someone mentioned that we haven't been building many ships and I'm like, you know what? Yeah, we should. We should get at least one ship in on this campaign. Um, so, this is the one I'm using as an example, because again, it's the right sort of thing. I'm going for a trimaran hull, is what I'm thinking. Or roughly trimaran-ish, anyway. Fairly high speed. Uh, boat, mostly designed for anti-aircraft duty. Now, this one is quite a bit more expensive, I think, than what we're going to be building. I'm going to aim for a budget of 150... Or 100,000 to 150,000 materials. I think this one is quite expensive, because it's full of things like uh, particle cannons. Uh, if it turns out we need more... We need more, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna base this. I've got an image of a what is apparently a independent uh, USS Independence. Be roughly what I base it on. I'm gonna use this as a bit of a uh, like a heavier escort to the planes. It might be coming along behind them, but the idea is once this enters the area, that it can can lock it down fairly securely. Uh, so we're going to need to work out the hull. Probably wants to be about. It's been a while since I built a boat in this game, so it might not be amazing, but. It wants to be about that. Maybe a bit longer than that. I'm going to try and use this one as a uh, bit of an example for the shape. Uh, I love the way they built it. There's a bit of a thing like that. And then. Uh, yeah, let's go for three longs. So it has kind of like a, a narrowish front deck that goes out diagonally. I might actually switch to fours here. Shallow the curve out a little bit so it doesn't get too wide. Then it has a sort of bridge here. Uh, yeah, this is probably right. If we actually curve this nose down, rather than being flat, I think we'll go, yeah, change it to uh, an angle. Specifically, whoops. Uh, oh god, how do we do this now? Have I built this wrong? Have I managed to build this wrong already? Uh, yeah, but okay, that's fine. We'll have to take these off. Yeah, actually, we're probably better going four from the start, so anyway, so. Now I'm going to do sort of what they do, which is have like the front of this slope down and then it sort of inverts and flips upside down uh, near the waterline. Let's go straight for a couple and then we'll do it like that. Be narrowish at the front because it's going to widen out at the back. Um, so let's go down like a couple layers. Won't get any wider, but it will get longer. Uh, okay. And then, yeah, then we'll have it slope two meters under. We'll go. Can I? Do we have the right blocks for that? We better use the use these maybe. Yeah, that was quite nice. We'll use those. We'll go. Probably wants to be at least four deep. We'll do a bit deeper than that, even. But actually, if I do that inverted curve, if I go six down and then go back out a couple and then cap the bottom off, so we go six down, then we go invert for a little bit, get that nice double curve. Bower, bulge, whatever. Yeah, there we go. And we'll just do cap it off one more underneath. And that'll be the, the shape for the inner hull. This may end up <laughs> this way will end up being more than a, a budgeted for, but we'll see how it goes. Right, yeah, and here. Start to widen out. Uh, do I want to go two meters? Is that wide enough? 
Yeah, that's probably right. We got the curve roughly right. <clears throat> Not make this hole too awkward to actually build. This will be like over a bit of a gap. And we'll have the, the sort of secondary hole sort of blade, which won't be too wide. Yeah, if we do the secondary hole sort of starting downwards from here. That'll be the gap. I might even hydrofoil it. Potentially. Uh We have this go out another, let's see. About there. That'll probably be alright. Uh, yeah, what shape does this one be? I like the idea of it being a slightly different shape, or should it go back a bit even? Let's try this. Uh, yeah, take that off. Uh, three and four, is that the right one? No, it wants to be those ones. Oh, uh, yeah, that's probably not quite right, is it? Hang on, we'll just do the... We'll do that one, so it's just like that. And yeah, they're too long, so that's in the wrong place, because that should be... There and then there. Okay, that'll do. We'll curve it off at the bottom. I don't want to create too much drag, it just wants to be fairly quick. There's a lot of airborne vehicles in this campaign, and I'd like this one to, unlike the, the planes that might get outdated, apart from the Hydra, which is probably right for a little bit longer. Um, as we fight stronger foes, this one wants to be reasonably, uh, I guess, future-proofed is the way to describe it. This one should be one that's designed to be still useful later. I think this is where we do want one of these parts, however. Uh, one to two meter. Yes, excellent. Oh, look at that. Beautiful transition, which I suppose is exactly the point of these parts. Right. Get some sort of thin. Yeah, I might be tempted to narrow the gap to actually only that wide. We'll put a, we'll put a wedge on it as well so it's not completely uh, sharp into the water. Yeah, that looks about right, proportions-wise, I'd say. And then weaponry-wise, what I'm thinking is... Uh, we'll have a missile battery on the back deck. We'll have a gun on the foot, a, a sort of dual-purpose gun on the front. We'll have maybe a direct Seawiz gun directly in front of the bridge. We'll have the bridge, and on the back, maybe another dual-purpose. I'll, I'll see on, on how we're looking for budget and everything at that point. But it's meant to be very much a sort of modern sort of a warship design. We might also do some connecting parts between these uh, side walls. It should also hopefully create a nice uh, air gap between the, uh, the internals. In fact, what we will do though is we will have it. It will be connected spaces at that level. So we'll take out these walls. We might put them back in later for armor, but we'll take them out for now. Now this one's going to be full metal, it's not going to be alloy. I don't mind it being a little bit heavier because it's going to have to be a bit more durable because it's more expensive. But we will... Uh, square that off. Yeah, there we go. Uh, to there. This is the, uh, the slow bit now. Let's put in all the uh, blocks. Should be able to get a few episodes recorded today, so hopefully we'll be able to finish this ship. Finally got a decent full recording day for once, so... Like recently, we've been 
quite busy. So yeah, of course, there's been a lot going on. Uh, one of my games is going free to play. Uh, so Quint will be free to play soon. That should be... Oh, as a day of recording, it would be tomorrow. But I think it might even be the day after this comes out, which it should already be. I won't promise anything on that, but in theory, if you the link to Sir Quinter in the the comment uh, the description will still be there. In theory, that game should be free to play, so you should be able to just pick that up and give it a go if you want to. Uh, and it's going to be staying like that permanently. It's just going full permanently free to play on that one. It's not a microtransactions. It is just a if you want to try it, go ahead. And a sequel should be coming out soonish as well. So, and yes, the two are uh, connected. Uh, oh. Not sealed up properly at the front. It is not even properly sealed up there. Oh, have I put that in the wrong place? No, but it is too wide. Uh, square corner, two meters. The other one. Yes. the other thing this one does. It should technically slope in here like that. Uh, I'm not. I'm going to deliberately not do that for the sake of not having to rebuild that section again and also for strength I think in this case. But I think it should technically so the shape is a little wrong but it's fine. Cosmetics is cosmetics. Uh, Yeah, do I want to do... Yeah, we'll have this bit go up like that and the deck will just sit flat across the top. We will need to build that section in. Okay. Uh, right. So that section's fine. The underside I'll do in a minute. Let's do the back. See what I could even do. I could even have it. Yeah. Looks all right, and then. Yeah, have the back sort of round out that shape anyway, maybe. Oh, actually, mind you. You know, it probably actually needs to be squared off because of the thing. Right. Worry about getting this thing armored properly in a minute. Right, uh... Yeah, we'll keep the slightly... Sl actually, no, it does sort of square off at the side, so we'll... Like to consider looks as well. Ah, nah, let's, let's actually. Yeah, that looks better, I think. Looks is very subjective anyway, but. Right, and then we got. Okay, we'll have to fill that in a minute. And yes, if you want to know about these, these are going to hold propellers. Uh, I'm going to put some propellers behind vents in there. Um, and probably some on the back as well. So what's not sealed at the front? Is it because the middle's not? Yep. Yep. That is exactly what it is. How well filled is that? It should be firing up to the back. Oh, perfect. Excellent. Let's chop these out so they're not in the way. It's probably going to have a wooden armoured deck uh, anyway, even though it's technically a metal deck. Ship it's based on, but it's still... Actually, it might have an alloy deck, because that'll be less than light, while still being a bit tougher than the wooden one. Actually, no, wooden... Actually, the half wooden one wouldn't be a bad idea, actually, because we've seen uh, EMP thrown around, and I just realised we're going to need EMP shield on this thing. That is something I'm going to want to do for the internals. I had forgotten about that until just now. Yeah, because those planes have been throwing EMP missiles around. We really don't want to lose something like this to a, a stray shot from one of those. We're going to want this proof against them. We'll do... Um, no, we'll do a metal casing around the propeller. It's probably worth spending out the money on. Make sure it doesn't get clipped. Don't get hit from the uh, stuff going in there. Right, propeller, square... Uh, where is it? 
decoration it's under. Misc. Hmm. Ducks, ducks, there we go. Metal duck, three by three. All the way up. There we go. See how we float without any resistance? It's come out boxier than expected. <laughs> I probably should have expected that, but. Not perfect, but not awful either. We include air pumps. Ascend. Yeah, that's fine. Air pumps, that is perfectly fine. But how much it floats, that's actually about the right... That's actually probably about right in the water. Uh, oh, especially given the front isn't even sealed up. That's floating very well. Uh, let's also seal that up properly. Does that go even higher? Yep. <clears throat> yeah, with it sealed up, that floats even higher. Right. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is I might put some hydrofoils in this section. Get it floating at about the right level, but we'll see how it, it goes in practice. Right. Well, we need to save it. Oh, crikey, I've built that much. I haven't saved it. Oh, very bad. Don't do this. Save your stuff regularly. Um, right. Uh, campaign. Sophia. Maybe... 05, um, if I was building something else, by the way, I forgot about it, my apologies, um, <laughs> but I wanted to, I wanted to get a surface ship going, uh, this will be, go, oh yeah, we're doing the Zodiac's names, aren't we, uh, this will be, this will go reasonable purpose, right, nice and balanced, we'll go with the Libra, we'll do like the Omega symbol on it somewhere, maybe, as part of the design, that could be a nice little, uh, nod to the, uh, symbol it's based on, right, uh, God, I haven't built a ship in so long. How do I... Tell you what, armor. Let's armor it with a layer of alloy on the inside. Um, it won't be quite as strong, but it'll give it some nice flotation ability, and it'll keep it fast. Paint it pink. Let's make sure it's at least two blocks thick. How much does it cost? 1900 Yeah. We may well go over budget, but, like, whatever. We'll deal with it. Hmm. I don't know how, what the best way to go about filling this in that make it solid is. Maybe maybe we're better with an all or nothing. Yeah, if we do an all or nothing. So we'll we'll just section off the nose so we don't have to try and armor up that awkward shape as well. Then this bit of the body will be. Actually, this bit could be double layered, but it only has to be double layered out to here where the secondary hull starts and is naturally providing a second layer. Sort of fit it with some aloe boxes and we'll fit a, a casing around the um the turrets and the ai obviously especially since it's going to be need to be there especially since it's going to need to be emp shielded we will double layer all of this section this is going to be somewhat vulnerable we will do i want to double layer this or do i want to put a no we'll actually put a dividing layer of armor in here this probably ought to be metal uh, this particular bit. Oh, should also be using one that you see. And we'll take it all the way out to the, uh, the edge of the hull. Yeah, if you're wondering why the obnoxious pink, it's literally just so I can see it easily and know where I've done it. Uh, hot pink. Right. There, because I've learned my lesson about small gaps letting shots through. That's apparently been a, a bit of an issue for me in Amfreet's campaign. Craig, I need to watch that. I don't know how I've done in that. I've got an entry in that. I kept meaning to watch it, and I've forgotten about it. Uh, right. Turrets. Let's plan our turret. We'll put it here. We'll put it in this well that's already here. If I go... How wide is this? One, two, three. If I go... It, 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 it would be here. Square turret. Well... This is actually metal. Yeah, if I just reinforce this to metal... And we've got our armored turret well built already. Take those out. That merges seamlessly into the existing scheme. Right. So I don't want it to be too heavy or too expensive. Uh, although alloy and metal are the same, but I do want it to be reasonably tough. So. Be a level one. We'll reinforce the bottom of the hull. I'm going to mount it in the bottom and then we'll reinforce it uh, underneath. Uh, take it back to the normal color as well. Uh, and what we'll 
do... Actually, yeah, no, hang on. Surround it with Surge Protector. be pretty unlikely to get hit down there anyway but I'm not going to leave it totally exposed because that seems that feels to me like asking for it right, if anything that ought to be surge protector as well so a surge can't come from below how durable this will be but are they watertight I'll leave that as metal I assume the surge protectors will pull the strike away before they hit that although correct me in the comments if I'm wrong you might potentially just find out in battle anyway but <laughs> We'll hope for the best in that one. Right. So a turret well that large. I'm going to check where I could build two. Is it a 9x9? Nine nine? No, it's a 7x7. Seven seven. Just... So it's the, it's the three in the corners that I want to leave empty. I can put an armored column up the sides. Okay. We'll do what we've done before. We'll do a, de a red decoed panel to show don't build here. It's deco so the tower can just pass straight through it. Then we can also put extra metal at the corners to enforce it. Not like that. <laughs> that is called filling the turret well to a point where I can't do anything with it. Uh, right. Just gotta wanna be... I'm gonna try and keep it on on point looks wise. This is probably going to be... Let's do it in one axis. 3 meter. Actually, are they a lot more expensive? How much more are they? Quite a lot, but worth it to increase durability, I think, in this case. Right. It doesn't need to be a full 5, and it doesn't want to be quick turning, so... It's going to be an advanced cannon. Uh, like I say, about... I'm going to say sort of 2... We'll say 250 mil. Um, I'm going to try and make it look like one of those sort of single barrel dual-purpose guns. Um, we'll probably fire maybe flat. We'll try... Hmm. Flak frag, maybe? We'll try flak frag. Um, actually, let's uh, let's hook that back so we can get the shape a bit better. Okay, and then that absolutely... Right, um... We will mount some... Actually, the turrets don't look like they have any detection systems in it on these. It looks like it's all on the uh, the rest of the ship. We might still put a targeter in it, but... Looks like the radar mast has the, uh, the targeting systems. I'm going to want a... Let's have a five weight splitter, and then we'll put some gauge increases at the bottom. I don't want the gauge getting messed around with in combat if it gets damaged, so if I put them at the bottom, it should be the least likely to happen. Sort of, if it, if it does get messed up, it's already been knocked out, so... I'll have it go down. Should be reasonably fast firing this one. Back around, fill the whole space there. Uh, at least a shot a second, I reckon I'm going to want from this. Uh, I also found out only yesterday that. Um, the open mic and thank you to everyone who showed up that was a lot of fun um we'll be probably doing another one uh maybe even this next week um i only learned that day that uh the more components you have in a shell the longer the reload takes which makes perfect sense but i was not fully aware of this um right let's run a basic barrel in for now i don't know what it's actually going to need but it's actually one where having the slightly wider bit on the end actually looks right. Um, I might also do something I've seen a few people do for decorations to put it in now so I don't forget it, which is... Um, this part? No, that's kind of right, but that's not the one I'm thinking of. Uh, which 
part is it? It's one of the crown barrel parts. It looks really nice when used for decoration for stuff like this. Not that one. It's not that one. Where is it? I don't know which part this is. Um, it's like a, a recall absorber, it looks like, um, which is what I'm going to use it for, but... I thought it was a cram part, but I didn't see it. No, is it the steam nozzle? Is that right? Hang on. Uh, the steam jet. That's the one. Yeah, you can sort of see what I mean. If I deco it onto there... Oh, it's invisible again. I had an interesting bug with this last time. Okay, that is working. It's just laggy. Right, uh, let's try four... Four. Yeah, look at that. Doesn't that look good? <coughs> yeah, I really like how that looks. I might even put something on the end of the barrel as well, but we'll worry about that later. So I'll have to do that one now before I forgot. Let's also add in a temporary control center before we've got the bridge. That oh, isn't on the turret, so I can actually place it. So I can actually control stuff like that and also test the engines once we get those in. I want to get. I want to do the gun first. I felt like doing the gun first today, so. Should theoretically. Yeah, it moves with it. Look at that. So, I reckon I could probably fit two layers of, um... Of loader in here quite easily. So let's go maybe... Maybe three. But if I go for two meter loaders... Uh... Hmm most efficient. I could fit two loaders on each, but best use of the corners. Or if I go... If I go the other way up, actually. If I went like that. No. Hmm. Try to work out what the best way to, to set this up is to orient this. If I go like that, I can fit two clips on each. Hmm. We'll do vertical for now. Because uh, we'll have a bit more space. Which I, I guess with that one, if we could do eight on each layer, we get what? Two layers? One for the load. Yeah, two layers. Hmm. What do we three? I have to modify it slightly to connect them. If I do three, there's a gap of one. One, two, three. With space above for a thing, but the turret on. Hmm. We'll go with two and have it fairly well armored, I think is what we'll try there. again. Can I do that there, or is that going to disconnect it? No, that disconnects it. I was going to say, they haven't got a proper generic six-way one for some reason. I don't think cooling is going to be an issue. Um, how much have we cost so far? 30,000. Not too much yet. I guess what I could also do on these, if they've got one on each, is put another one there. And have a vertically stacked magazine. Could I do that here? Only, uh, only if I raise it up again, which I don't think I can. Okay, that's fine. We could put recall absorbers in there, maybe even. Uh, right. Tetrising is a skill in, to, in and of itself. Uh, we're pretty good on time for this episode, so what I'll do, we'll finish this, we'll finish the first, the Mark 1 titles of this gun, give it a, a basic shell, and see what we're looking at performance-wise so far. That'll be a good place to, to, to get to. Let's also change one of these. No, one so I can track how much is loaded. Uh, at a, at a glance. And you don't technically have to do it like that, but. I think everyone's got a clip now. Yeah, I figured two meter would be probably good enough for a gun like this that's high, high fire rate. Right? Uh, 
I might make the ammunition on a shell customizer rather than in the shell, just in case I have to change it on the whole ship, because I might well have two turrets to use it. Yeah, yeah, because that's quite quite likely a thing I might do. So, so aiming for a budget of around 150,000 on this ship. So at the moment, it looks like it could be doable, but it will depend on how many other internals. But the weapons are normally the most expensive bit. So. So we have a 250 millimeter, two meter magazines. Let's put them in. Let's put them in this section here because I don't think, even if we put the seawiz in here, it'll be at the back and it'll be in a narrower turret well because it'll be using one meter shells. So that's what I'm thinking. So go there. That'll probably be long enough. So nose. Let's do a. I don't know, let's put that facing in for now. 250. No. What's the... Ah, okay, we are twice the required length, so if we cut two out, that should be perfect. Yeah, two meter, okay. So let's load in... What do we think would be roughly right? We're thinking a flak frag, right? So if we go... Flak head... Flak warhead, flak warhead... Frag warhead... Rag and then timed fuse. Is this going to be fast enough for anti aircraft duty? It's not tremendously quick, but that might be okay. It's kind of a dual purpose shell anyway. Let's try that. Okay, we're going to want a laser targeter. So it's timed. And it's actually be on the gun, that would help. in a very quick little stockpile of ammunition. Okay. Let's actually set the shells to, well, reload it. It's the loading time quite a bit, actually, so we're going to have to make use of the fact we have a lot of these. What's our estimated fire rate? 44.3. That goes to, is 250 a little large? Would be a bit better going... We could potentially put it down, so I, the other size I would consider would be 200. That's quite a, a notable difference. How big would a shell like that be in a 200? Oh yeah, what performance are we getting out of it as well? Uh, fragment 13, about 1700 damage. Flak, 2000 over 30 meters. So that's pretty, that seems pretty decent. That should saturate quite a large area with, with flak rounds. 44 RPM is not amazing though. Um, I'm guessing that's because that's our yeah, auto loader limit. Could we fit more in? We definitely could. Definitely fit a second. Um... Oh, we could stack the. Yeah, could we stack them here sideways? We get. No, because they're two meter clips. We might be able to stack more in here, but for now we'll try it as is. Let's actually go. Let's put an AR on it that's on uh, God mode so we don't lose it. Uh, God mode on. Save the vehicle. And let's spawn in a. one of their planes. What's the big one? The Barling. Why not? Mind the truth. That's actually quite a nice fire rate for these quite substantial shells, like... Not that a huge amount of damage seems to be happening. Yeah, a bit low velocity, I would say, looking at that. They're probably heavy enough to do decent damage if they connect, but... I would say they're too slow. Too slow, it's not leading fully. So I'd say we probably want to get them up to at least 600 a second velocity. So yeah, we'll try 200 mil as the next thing and see how that does. We could potentially go quite a bit smaller and have larger, more complicated shells, but I wanted to try this first, a sort of heavy approach. Yeah, they're not really hitting. So that one did, but. Yeah, I didn't do a lot. Uh, but yeah, that's all cool that episode there. 
We'll we'll tweak the gun in the next one. Um, so yeah, see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.